Greetings, friends, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to do this winged eyeliner for hooded eyes. If you don't know what that is, but you suspect that you're one of us, I'll explain that when we get to the tutorial. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Natasha, and my goal is to create a space where the approach to beauty is a bit more relaxed, not so perfect, uh, fun. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, please subscribe or at least like the video. Oh, it's also good to know that I only use cruelty-free products. Got that out of the way. Let's get into the tutorial, shall we? So you might ask yourself, what is a hooded eye? A hooded eye is an eye that has some extra skin kind of hanging on top of the lid. So I have a slight hooded eye. I don't have a hooded eye to the point where uh, the hood is actually covering a lot of my lid. But as you can see, this is the actual hood of the eye. I also have quite a long um, hood <laughs> or crease on my eye. So it goes like from here to all the way down here, which gives the appearance of that my eyes are a little bit droopy or kind of downwards tilting, which means that I have to be extra careful with how far out on my lash line I actually draw on my liner, but I'll explain that also very soon. Because of the fact that I have a little bit of a droopy eye, I actually start about two thirds out and then I wing my liner out. So I don't draw my eyeliner all the way in. So the reason why I actually don't draw the eyeliner all the way in is because I find that I have so little lid space in the beginning of the eye. So when I draw eyeliner there, I usually just end up covering the whole lid space and it's just not a good look for me. Like that look, you can try that too. But just be careful. You want to do a very, very, very thin line on a hooded eye because you want to leave as much lid space as possible because that gives an appearance of an open, awake eye. So. A thin line starting about two thirds out on your eye. Okay, so that might not look like much, but this is a great start. So we did a very thin line and we didn't go too far down. So step number two is drawing on a dot at the end of your crease or at the end of your hood. And that dot is basically a mark for you to know that you're not supposed to apply any eyeliner further up than that. So I'll show you what I mean. You see how right here is where my crease ends and where my hood ends. So up there is where I add that little, little point. I hope that you can see that. I know that I cannot apply any product above that mark because that product will just end up getting swallowed up by my crease and so it won't give an appearance of a straight wing. So what I'll do now is I'll just connect that dot to my line uh, that I drew on previously. All right, I know this looks like a little baby wing but this is just a start. So now I can go out and elongate the wing how long I want it. So I'll just move from that dot and go outwards. All right, so I'm happy with that length for now. I might elongate it later. Now I will draw from the end of that line in towards this area right here, but don't go too far down your eye because as I mentioned before, that will give your eye a bit of a droopy effect. All right, so this is kind of what I call the base of the eyeliner. Now, from this point, you can go longer, you can go thicker if you like. Just as I said, make sure that you don't go above that mark that you created. So I'm just gonna go ahead and build it up to the thickness that I like, and let's see where we end up.
I'm very happy with this. I am going to do the other eye, put on some mascara, and I'll be back with the final results. So this is the final look of the liner. Let me get a bit closer. As you can see, when I relax, you can still see the full liner. From the side, and like from the front. Well, this is the thing. One of the things that is good to think about is the fact that everyone's eyes are completely different. Even though you've got hooded eyes like mine, you may have something totally else to work with than what I do. I have not that much of a hooded eye, but I have quite a long hood. So my liner, since my hood is quite long and it goes a bit downwards as well, um, my liner has to be basically fully horizontal. So it lays like this, as you can see. Um, but if your hood doesn't extend that far, then you can angle your liner more upwards. I can't do that because my hood swallows up the entire eyeliner. So that sucks. This is the way that I have to do it. But I still can do it, but I can't do it like a lot of other people. So that was it for this tutorial. It took me how long. So please like it and I'll see you in the next one.